Hello and welcome back to Football Tactics and Glory and Manchester's journey to the Premier League. My name is Rio, I am the manager of Manchester FC, and in today's episode we'll be taking on Boise. But before we get to that, I want to thank all of the people that have recently subscribed, commented, liked all of my videos. It's been incredible in the last month or so, going from barely 20 subscribers to 140. And I hope you stick around. I know that the Fire Emblem video was the one that kind of got people in here, but I hope you enjoyed this series as well because I have a lot of fun with it and it's got a lot of strategy and tactics in it as well. However, recently we haven't been doing so well on that front with our 2 0 loss to Topeka pushing us down to 7th in the league. Now my goal is still to finish in this top 5 range, and we're still pretty close behind Topeka and Little Rock, but with our results recently, we just haven't been able to get anything going. We have lost, tied, tied, and won our last 4 results, but today we're facing Boise, who are the ninth place team, but also one of the teams that beat us before. So we're looking for a little revenge on our return home here. Now let's take a look at the teams here. So, their defensive midfielder, that's that's a big one to deal with here. And we got all of these players here to deal with as well. I'm also going to move Olsen over just a little bit. Can I still get the ball? No. So I'm adjusting formation just a little bit because I want to get English away from the box and potentially get O'Donnell a his first attempt at a break-in now that he's a right forward. And we can do that with Roman, who is also good enough at passing and an attacking midfielder. He should be able to stop the defensive midfielder at least a little bit. I hope this works. It's the strangest formation I've played with, but I think we can win this game, and I'm hoping we do, because if we can't, our hopes for a top five finish are becoming slim. So here we go, and Manchester starts off with the ball. Roman taking it here, and he... I thought... Okay. And those are intercepted in any case. So we're actually just gonna go with a lofted pass in the direction of O'Donnell. It doesn't work out, but O'Donnell manages to tackle Oates and could go for the cross or a shot here, but instead is just going to go into the corner and hope to be able to keep it away from Gibbons or Oates. So not the start I was looking for, probably going to have to adjust formation, but O'Donnell keeps it from Oates, and that is a critical point. So Mott is going to move in. Now, the break-in gives us an advantage over English, and Mott keeps it from English. Let's see what Mott does. Mott can't take it away either. It's O'Donnell on goal here. We have the cannon shot, and that's what he's going to go with. O'Donnell goes for the shot, and it's saved. It's not even saved out of the box area. So, Olsen will go for the tackle. He's not able to take it away from Mott, and doesn't get motivated. So, unfortunately, that is going to have to do for the possession lately. Calvert will also move in, and we've got a lot of people in the box now. And they've moved Joyce in as well. Pollard doesn't even have a class, and they're moving up Wilburn. Here, and Wilburn's just holding this one. So O'Keefe is going to come over, and O'Keefe is going to press and give Roman a very slim chance to take it away, and... Roman fouls him. And I guess they're looking for formation now, so Keefe is also going to join in with there, and we'll put Thacker as well. 
And let's see what they do. Joyce is over. And the pass gets to Latham. And Latham, on goal, goes to the shot. And Latham scores to put Boise up one to nothing. And we're going to be... We are now in a tough spot here. I was not expecting that to succeed. And it gets knocked away from O'Donnell, unfortunately. So O'Donnell going to take it and hold this one. It seems like none of our attempts have gone to plan recently. And Bowers isn't able to take it away from O'Donnell. That was a terrible tackle attempt. Only barely foiled by O'Donnell. And O'Donnell is going to once again go for the break-in. Only English will be going to try and take it away, and he's not able to do so. And it's O'Donnell on goal again. Could go for the power shot, but we're still going to go for the cannon shot, and it's not any better than last time. And that will end the turn. And that's, that's Gibbons' fault. Gibbons moving in reduced our chances. And the long pass gets past Olsen to Pollard. Pollard passes to Latham. Latham turns towards goal. He's already got a goal today. Goes for the shot, and this one is saved by Hodges. Out of bounds, they have a corner kick. Now, uh, we're also going to change up formation now. Bye. How can I adjust this? So his attacking midfield should should be better at preventing those possible interceptions, I thought. But it doesn't seem to be happening. Do it on that side, try and get it to Calvert. I think that's what we'll do next time. But. Latham moves into the box, and Wilbur. So Shader is going to defend in front. Dickinson, as ever, is going in back. And Scruggs will also help out in the back. So, here we go. Pollard. Pollard's passing is not actually that great. And Wilburn does take position, but it's passed straight to Shader. And the slide tackle does not succeed for Wilburn. Go for the long pass there. Go for a long pass to Thacker as well. So we're going to go to Thacker. And otherwise it doesn't work. And he can intercept even there? That's insane. So Thacker's just gonna move up and hold this one. But I, the defending midfielders are such a nuisance in this game. But Bowers isn't able to take it away from Thacker, so that's one advantage here. And he still can't pass it past to O'Donnell until now. And O'Donnell gets the ball. There's not, there's still not a likely chance of him getting there, and O'Donnell's getting tired. But Gibbons isn't able to take it away. I'm surprised they didn't go with Bowers on that one. And now Bowers went, not able to take it away. Well, oh no, now he's motivated. And he goes in, and this time, he easily takes it. So O'Donnell's probably going to be so tired he's not able to do the next half. But he's got one chance here to go for a very unlikely shot. And it's kicked away. And that ends the half with a disappointing one nothing deficit against Boise. We simply have not been able to get past Bowers. Nothing. Nothing is getting past him. So, Fry is going to have to come in for O'Donnell, because 
O'Donnell is just too tired to keep going on this one. And we're going to have to hope we can get something going against Bowers here. Because that that's our main opposition. They've had a couple goals saved, or shots saved, I should say, but that's not what's stopping us. And the shot is saved. Latham gets another one past Scruggs. And once again, Pollard is going to be taking the corner. And we'll do the same formation as last time. Shatter isn't able to take position. And Latham keeps position as well. And the pass is gets past Shatter. And everyone's motivated, but it's Latham on goal. And Latham's shot is saved. Now he's motivated, though. So Shatter goes in, takes it away from Latham. He's gonna go for the... and can't get the pass past Joyce. So Doss goes for the tackle and isn't able to take it away. And now Joyce can just move up and pass to Wilburn. Or Wilburn will move out to the edge, surprisingly. And Wilburn gets the ball. And Wilbur goes for the shot, and he scores! Boise is up 2 to nothing, and Manchester's complete collapse in the second half of the season is going strong still. Seriously, am I misreading the whole thing with the attacking midfielder? He should have a 60% lower chance of getting that. And so we're going to pass to O'Keefe. And O'Keefe is going to try and move past. He gets... Wisniewski kicks it out of bounds. And Roman is going to go there. Calvert. And take position. And the pass to Calvert is gotten by Calvert. Calvert manages to get it. But there's not much he can do there. The pass goes over towards Olsen, but Olsen isn't, it doesn't get to him. So Olsen will have to take it and try and hold on. And he's not able to. Gibbons takes it away. And Gibbons' pass is offline for Latham, but Latham can go back and get it. But instead, they take Wilburn over to get it. Dickinson moves up and goes for the slide tackle, isn't able to take it away, and Thacker will move over. This has been truly one of the most disappointing games of the entire season. Wilburn passes to Latham, Latham on goal, and Hodges saves this one. Go to Thacker, go to Shatter. So Shatter is going to be the one getting the pass. He's going to move up one and just hold now. And Joyce actually moves away, but now he's going to move up and try and take it from Shatter. And the slide tackle does not succeed. Jatter's now out of range of the long pass to Fry. Now he gets there. Could go for that one, but it makes more sense to pass it to Fry, who is now going to hold and try and keep it away from Oates, and Oates takes it away! Fry didn't even try on that one to keep it. Pollard gets the ball. And Pollard just holds. Roman is gonna come over and try and take it away. And Roman takes it. Now, 
defense can take it right back, and Bowers is the one coming up. Bowers easily takes it. And I have to say, Manchester has run out of time. There is no way for this to go. And Olsen fouls Bowers. Bowers is now injured. Could have used that earlier in the game. And the pass goes way up line for Latham. And the last action of the game is Wilburn taking there, and another disappointing result. Boise beats Manchester 2 to nothing at home. I just don't know what to say. That nothing was working out. My plan to get past the attacking, the defending midfielder simply didn't work, and I'm not sure why. Not everything can go your way, but that's another tough result for us. And after that one, we are still actually possibly in line to get that top five position. We managed to keep in front of Montpelier and Little Rock lost as well, so we've got a chance, but we're just not taking advantage of those chances. And next game is against Montpelier. A rival club that we've been with since the Amateur League. We know we can beat them, but we also knew we could beat Boise. Or at least I thought we could. And it didn't end up happening. Another 2 to nothing loss. Wow. I hope you enjoyed the episode despite the lackluster result again, but I, I promise that we are going to find out what is going on with this team. I think we are missing edge. We're missing our edge now. Well, leave a like and subscribe for more content that is hopefully a better game than today, and I hope you have a great day and happy gaming.